Located in the heart of Europe, Belgium enjoys a key position on the international scene. It is one of the most open economies in the world. Belgian exports and imports of goods, together, represented almost 170% of GDP in 2017. According to the latest WTO data, in 2017, Belgium ranked as the 11th largest exporter of goods, with 2.4% of world exports, and the 14th largest importer of goods worldwide, with 2.2% of world imports. Belgian authorities have long been aware that foreign trade is of crucial importance to the Belgian economy and have always encouraged export promotion initiatives. At the forefront, the Belgian royal family has led major economic missions to numerous countries around the world. These missions are co-organized by the FPS Foreign Affairs, the regional export promotion agencies Flanders Investment and Trade, Wallonia Trade and Investment, and Brussels Invest and Export by Hub Brussels while the Belgian Foreign Trade Agency ensures the general coordination. From 2003 to 2013, the then Crown Prince Philippe, honorary president of the Belgian Foreign Trade Agency, presided 38 economic missions around the globe. Belgian economic missions have a very positive impact on Belgian export, as well as a high added value for the participating companies. A survey conducted in 2013 showed that for 86% of the companies, the missions contributed to enhancing visibility. It allowed 85% of the companies to make new business contacts, while another 76% were able to investigate the market. Networking with other participants was beneficial to 61% of the businessmen, and 59% of them succeeded in obtaining commercial contracts. After the accession to the throne of His Majesty King Philippe, in July 2013, all subsequent missions were presided over by Her Royal Highness Princess Astrid, acting as representative of His Majesty the King. As of today, she has presided 13 economic missions. In the 15 years of existence of the agency, 51 missions were organized with an impressive total of 10,028 businessmen and women, representing 6,556 companies. These figures are quite unique at world level, and it is not a coincidence that the Belgian missions are often the largest missions any country hosts during a single year. While the first missions often counted around 150 participants, in recent years the numbers have been increasing steadily, reaching new records. In terms of the number of global participants, the biggest mission ever was the mission to China of 2011 with 473 participants. The latest mission that took place in Morocco last month was however the biggest as far as the number of companies is concerned, 251. It also counted an unprecedented high number of businessmen, 408. Over the years, the federal and regional partners have strived to provide an ever better service to the Belgian companies. A sectoral focus was given to the economic missions, and key sectors of the Belgian economy were highlighted. Biotechnology, healthcare, infrastructure and logistics, or the audiovisual industry, to name but a few. These missions reached the highest possible level. The presence of a member of the Belgian royal family and of several prominent Belgian ministers opens doors for companies, and one often notes an acceleration of the conclusion of business contracts, signed in the presence of VVIPs. The missions also ensure a high visibility for Belgian companies in the local and Belgian press. The high quality of the B2B meetings organized by the regions is often praised. Finally, companies appreciate networking with senior Belgian authorities and CEOs from various sectors. A temporary website is specially dedicated to each individual Belgian economic mission. It goes live on the day of the briefing for about a month. A mobile application version is also available for participants. In June 2015, His Majesty the King led his first major state visit, with China as a destination. On every state visit, he has been accompanied by Her Majesty the Queen. 
The new state visits are innovative in different respects. All institutional components are now involved in the organization. The federal, as well as the regional authorities, participate in the state visits. The large ministerial delegation is a unique feature of Belgian state visits. The economic and academic dimensions of the state visit have been reinforced, implying a large size delegation. In line with the developments on the international scene, new economic actors are being invited to participate. After the startups, social entrepreneurs are now regularly present. Finally, major federal cultural institutions systematically contribute to the return event, organized in honor of the head of state hosting the state visit. In barely four years, eight Belgian state visits have taken place and can boast already 1,563 global participants. 234 business and academic agreements have been signed during these state visits. The Belgian Foreign Trade Agency, for which His Majesty the King has remained honorary president, has been enrolled to take care of the logistics of the new state visits on the basis of a service contract concluded with the Minister of Foreign Affairs. In order to fulfill the logistical tasks optimally, a state-of-the-art digital platform has been developed by the Belgian Foreign Trade Agency in partnership with SMALS, specifically for the state visits. Synergy. This tailor-made platform allows managing in synchronization the program of the state visit, the list of participants in any specific event, and the official motorcade. For each state visit, a temporary website is created and goes live for about a month. The website is a modern way of communicating, not only to participants, but also to foreign authority. State visits attract a lot of attention from the Belgian and foreign media. About 30 Belgian journalists accompany on every state visit, and this accounts for the high visibility of the events of the visit. Over the past 15 years, the Belgian Foreign Trade Agency has built up expertise in all logistical aspects of Belgian economic missions and state visits. This ranges from the registration of up to 470 participants, including the participants' brochure, to the management of hotel and flight bookings, the local transport, with a centerpiece the motorcade, the management and updates of the official program of the visit, and the organization of signing ceremonies. Thanks to a good understanding of the Belgian public institutions, companies and universities, the agency's team is able to play in on their specific needs and meet them in a satisfactory way. The State Visits and Economic Missions Department is jointly run by Rose Donke, Head of Department, and Julie Derwa, her deputy. The team counts seven members who are all thoroughly dedicated to making of every state visit or economic mission a success. The agency benefits of the professional support of leading travel agencies. We warmly thank Mrs. Catherine Blanc, Senior Manager CWT Meeting and Events Bellux, and Mrs. Patricia van den Einden, Client Operations Manager BCD Meetings and Events, for almost 25 years of loyal services. On a final note, the agency expresses its warm gratitude to the federal and regional partners for their trust. We also thank all the Belgian ambassadors and the foreign ambassadors in Belgium, who on every occasion offer an outstanding support. Every state visit or mission is a new challenge, and thanks to their unfailing cooperation, success is always down the road. We look forward to the next 15 years of state visits and economic missions. <laughs>